I wish I could go back in time and punch that motherfucking doctor in the mouth. Jam motherfucking day. doing today I hope you're doing well please find me on any of my social media platforms and follow me especially firework I am working with them as a brand ambassador to try to get more people on their platform it's kind of like vine combined with musically so anyway guys today I have a story about and it's kind of convoluted I think I'm gonna have to break this into two different stories and basically it is two different times that I have been accused of being a drug addict which I'm absolutely not a drug addict I could take a drug test at any time and pass it with flying colors but there was a dude on vine who i am not really going to talk about this a lot because he literally was like just out of control on that app when it came to me i don't know what it was about me that irritated him so badly i don't know what it was about him that made him just non-stop come after me but it's just something i really don't wish to revisit in much detail let's just say that he came from out of nowhere one day and one of his favorite things to say about me was that i was addicted to pain medication i had talked about pain medication on my vine because i I have a history of multiple surgeries. I've had to have many surgeries due to endometriosis. I ended up having multiple surgeries along the line and then I ended up having to have a hysterectomy. And I didn't always use all of my pain medication that they prescribed me after those surgeries. So around the time that Vine started, I had to get braces on my teeth for the second time in my lifetime, which is exactly what my mother had to do. And she ended up having to have both of her jaws broken and realigned. Luckily, I've not gotten to that point. Hopefully, I never do. But braces are awful, like when you first get them put on. And then just throughout the time of having them, every time you have to have them adjusted, it's very painful, not only on your actual teeth, but on the inside of your mouth you know it rubs sores on the inside of your mouth there were times where I just was bleeding from like my cheeks because of these braces and they give you wax to use but it really doesn't help that much I had done a vine once about thank god I have my leftover pain medication from when I had surgery and I can't remember what the, oh I had multiple foot surgeries also and so I had done a vine and I was like thank god I still have some of this pain medication because if I didn't I don't know what I would do and that pain medication was prescribed to to me so it wasn't like I was using something that I shouldn't have been using so he just hopped on that and the reason that he did so was because he had a history of drug abuse and being in rehab which I never put people down for that or I can't say I never do I have people in my life that have dealt with addiction I have people who have died from addiction I have people in my life who have taken their own lives due to addiction and so I don't look down on those people honestly if they're trying to help themselves now if they're acting like an asshole toward me then pretty much all bets are off but that's a different story so what he was doing since he didn't like me was projecting onto me negative things about himself that he thought he could use to hurt me. One of the things he did was to put up my nursing license number and the phone number to the nursing department of Virginia and tell people to call and say that I was addicted to pain medication. Now that's the one and only time on Vine that I actually took legal steps to try to stop him from that behavior because that was taking it too far as in trying to actually ruin my means of income. So that's all I'm going to say about that dude. I'm not going to say his name and I'm not going to address him again if he comes on here talking shit or if anything like that happens, I do not wish to engage with this individual. But I was telling you all of that to lead up to this story of a time that I was treated very badly in an emergency room. Now during the time of Vine, I started having really bad back pain and it was in the right side of my back and it was like in my flank area and I mean like where your kidney is. And I would go to the doctor frequently and be like, you know, I'm, I'm still having this pain in my back, like nothing that you're telling me to do is working nothing that you have given me is working and it's getting worse and worse and it was during that time that I had to go and travel to film different parts for the Vine documentary that we were doing which really just ended up on YouTube you know I don't know what to say about that I mean I did the work that 
they asked me to do, I guess, is just Vine died while we were doing it. And so those videos just ended up on YouTube. We really did not end up doing a documentary, which is fine. I had fun traveling. But during that time, I was having a lot of pain. The pain was weird because as long as I was up moving around, I didn't really feel it. But whenever I would sit still or try to lay down, it was just unbearable. And it got worse and worse and worse. So my doctor ended up finally telling me, I don't think it's your back. I think it's your gallbladder. But in order to have your gallbladder taken out, you have to have this test done, this test done, this test done, that test done. And to tell you the truth, what I found out is that being diagnosed with a bad gallbladder is next to impossible. At least it was for me. Every test that I had done would tell me that my gallbladder was normal. But I knew that it wasn't because I was at the point that I was in so much pain all the time that I was like, there's no way I can live like this. Like if they keep telling me that there's nothing they can do for me, I don't know that I can live like this. Like I got a taste of what it feels like to be in so much physical pain that you might want to take your own life. I mean, it was that bad. I was at a loss as for what to do because my doctor had told me if the test shows negative, there's nothing we can do about it. And one morning I woke up and I was in such excruciating pain that I was like, I'm going to have to go to the ER. I think the last time I had been to the ER before that, maybe two years and that was for abdominal pain and like I've told you guys in previous videos that since I was 16 years old I have had problems with my stomach. I have irritable bowel syndrome and it gets so bad sometimes that my bowel like swells and it gets infected and I have to be put on antibiotics and stuff like that. I won't say I've never been to the ER but I do not frequent the ER because it's expensive and most of the time if I need to go to the doctor either I will make an appointment or I will go to the clinic that's about 45 minutes away Away from here. So this day I went to the ER and I was in excruciating pain and I went in and I took my pain medication with me which was pretty much full because it wasn't working so I wasn't taking it and I went in and they put me in a room and the nurse is like taking my vital signs and everything and I'm just laying on this stretcher and the doctor walks in. He does not introduce himself. He does not even say hello to me. He walks in the room and he goes oh you again. I uh, just want to let you know we're probably not going to give you any pain medication today. Now that combined with this dude on Vine continuously calling me a pain medication addict literally sent me into orbit. I went from zero to a hundred real quick. I said, excuse me? And he was like, well, you know, let's just see what's going on. I was like, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You literally did not even introduce yourself to me. Like, I don't know who you are. Are you a doctor? And he was like, yes, I'm a doctor. My, my name is Dr. So-and-so. And I said, okay, that's cool. Um, first of all, don't know you, never seen you before. I don't know who you think I am, but I don't come to the ER frequently. I also brought the pain medication with me that I've been taking that is not working. I've been in pain for about three months now. No one will give me a diagnosis. I'm not asking you for pain medication. I'm asking you to find out what the fuck is wrong with me. I am in constant fucking pain to the point that I want to kill myself. I cannot live like this. And he's like, whoa, 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 calm down. I said, you should also know that I'm a registered nurse with a master's degree who worked in this hospital for probably 10 years. And I don't know who the fuck you think I am, but I'm not here searching for pain medication. I was like, furthermore, let's look at the patient bill of rights on the wall, shall we? Part of the patient bill of rights says that I have the right to pain control while I am here in your hospital. I'm not here asking you for pain medication. I'm actually here asking you to find out what the fuck is wrong with me. Now, the whole time I'm doing this, the nurse is just like standing behind me. She has been very kind to me. She's holding my pain medication in her hands and she's like, yeah, she brought her pain medication with her. Like, that's not what she's here for. And he, he knew he had fucked up. And he's like, oh, well, wait, and he's, he's like trying to touch me. I was like, get your fucking hands off of me. Do not fucking touch me. Do not fucking touch me. So I get up, put my shoes on, grab my pain medication back from the nurse, walk out the door. And as I'm walking out the door, one of the people that I used to work with in the operating room had just come into work. His name was Chuck. And he was the anesthetist that worked in the OR with me, meaning he's the person who put people to sleep when they had surgery. And he saw me and he was like, hey, Jen. What, what's wrong? And I told him, I said, that doctor right there just treated me like a drug addict. And the doctor was like, no, 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 that's not what I did. That's not what I did. And Chuck was like, 
oh, oh, come with me. So we went in another room and like I was bawling hysterically. You should, you just should have seen, have you ever seen someone that they are so tired? They have been in so much pain for so long and they just are done. Fucking crispy fried motherfucking done is where I was at. He was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know why he treated you that way. He's like, I worked with you for years. You never exhibited any type of drug addict behavior. I've never in my life thought that of you. But uh, we have a different doctor coming in at I don't know, 8 o'clock, so if you want to wait, then we can wait and that doctor can see you. And I was like, okay, fine. Well, I called my mom on my cell phone and she came in and she was sitting with me. You know, y'all know I love my mom, but I gotta say this is one of those days where I was pretty pissed at my mom because I just felt like she treated me like I was making a big deal out of nothing. And uh, when I got home, I went on Facebook Live and I went on a rant, which is something I shouldn't have done because my mom and dad were not happy with me for doing it. But then again, I felt that people should have known how our local hospital was treating people who came in to their facility. I ended up taking it down, but people had seen it and they started using it against me, calling me a drug addict and all of this. I really don't have a nice way to wrap up this story except to tell you that I did end up going to a different doctor in a different city who did take my gallbladder out. And as soon as she took my gallbladder out, the pain stopped. And I have not had pain since. So yes, my gallbladder needed to be taken out. But no one was listening to me. And it was a very frustrating and hard time in my life. I remember this guy on Vine would be like, yeah, but you talk about taking pain medication for your teeth. And you weren't given that pain medication for your teeth. You were given that pain medication because you had surgery on your foot. And I'm like, yeah, dude, but I am in pain. And it is my medication that was prescribed to me so I could take it for my own pain. And he just would go on and on about how I was misusing pain medication. That's just one of the things I had to put up with on Vine. I have another story of something that involves a pharmacist who was really rude to me over pain medication and that was in 1999. So I will do another video about that. But anyway guys, that's my story for the day. You know when you're in pain. Pain is subjective. That's one of the very first things they teach you in nursing school. It's not an objective thing to measure. It is subjective, meaning that the only person who can tell you that they are in pain is the patient. So it doesn't really matter if the patient looks at you and they're crying and they say they're in pain or if they look at you and they're completely calm and they say they're in pain. When a person says they're in pain, your job as a healthcare provider is to listen to them and not judge them. I wish I could go back in time and punch that motherfucking doctor in the mouth. Anyway guys, that's my story for the day. If you have any stories of being treated that way, leave it down below in the comments. I hope you all have a great day. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have, thank you so much. Please make sure you click the little bell icon down below so it will tell you every time I put up a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays and I also put a vlog on this channel. So I hope you'll come back and see me next time. Have a great day. Go out there and don't let anybody treat you like this. Love you. Bye! And I remember one of my younger viewers saying something to me like, Be right back. Currently freaking out about becoming an adult and having to deal with this type of stuff. Guys, don't do that.